So as times change and rap music evolves, we're constantly being introduced to these new artists who have nothing but time and potential. And because this, those who quickly become familiar with this upcoming scene, they become heavily invested. And this dim spotlight creates what we would call an underground rapper. And in cases like we're seeing right now, with multiple rappers all breaking through and being bubbled in together, all receiving the most love on a specific platform, which is TikTok, this is a new wave. And we're watching it form right before our very eyes. And one thing about rap music and life is history repeats itself and reoccurring patterns show in a lot of situations. And with waves of rap music, it goes through three stages, the start, the peak, and the end. So it's very fitting that it's happening right now because we are currently in the end of this melodic trap era. It started in 2011, 12, and 13 with artists like Future, Young Thug, Speaker Knockers, Chief Keef. Although they might not have been the highest selling artists at the time, they were the new sound. That was the youth at the time. And because of the influence and impact, what followed was a decade of iconic melodic trap music. Whether it was love and drugs and heartbreak or melodic street pain, that's what's been running the rap game for the past decade. Although it's more evident than it's ever been that from 2021 to now, this wave is finally coming to an end. As in, these artists might not even be getting worse. Cause I'm saying the subgenre itself has passed its peak. That's why you guys are always so shook at these album sales for artists you thought were more popular. It's because the genre itself has taken a dip. So it's still super high up, but it started its decline. It's no longer just constantly rising. And it's not ironic that in the years 2021 to 2024, we saw the first batch of all these new wave rappers breaking through. Yes, the mainstream rappers are still pulling in way more numbers. Like, I'm pretty sure Polo G just got 100k comments when he said, if I get 100k comments, I'll drop this song. So, like, we can't argue. They still got great numbers. But the new gens be saying they're washed. Now, music's subjective. I'm not about to sit here and argue if an artist is good or not. But what I can tell you is it's becoming more and more evident that this new wave is taking over. I mean, just look at all the attention these artists are getting on social media. And this all leads me to ask the question, how big is the underground scene actually? Compared to the mainstream, compared to these artists who we look at as global superstars. Well, first things first, what we can't do is look at monthly listeners. Why can't we? Because once an artist becomes backed up by the industry, as in the labels are spending millions of dollars promoting these artists, getting their name in playlists, commercials, and all that, it gets to a point where the music's being streamed and consumed by people who don't even know who the artist is. And that's respectfully, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a goal that every artist has to make it that big. But we can't compare the numbers on streaming sites between the mainstream and the underground because it's just not an accurate representation. What should you look at? Well, a few things, the YouTube views, the engagement they have, and especially audio videos rather than music videos and YouTube leaks from other accounts. This will show you how many people genuinely enjoy the music. And after looking over numbers from both the mainstream and this quote unquote underground wave, it's very complicated because there's a lot of levels to this mainstream and the lowest level isn't too far off from these popping new gen rappers. Think about it. Like Ian and Laser both getting millions of views, Nespen's recent music video got over a million views. That's more than some of these rappers that you guys consider mainstream. Nav, Nelly Choppa, A Boogie. Yes, I know these artists have a bigger following and can pull more numbers overall, but this shows the direction rap music is heading in because with this shift, these lower level mainstream artists who peaked like six, seven years ago, they're slowly becoming things of the past. And while partially we can blame it on their music career, it has a lot more to do with the direction of rap music and just farthering from that artist's sound. And while some can shift and shine in other waves, not everybody will. But I got something very interesting to show you, so keep everything I just said in mind. And let's take a look at this. On the screen now is a representation of the mainstream and the new gen. And I also have indicators showing the levels to it because both have multiple levels to it. Yes, the top might seem very high, you guys gotta understand, these signed artists who are getting millions of dollars from the label are being pushed to a whole nother level, and the numbers that they have, nobody could compete with unless you're in that category. And keep in mind, yes, the previous wave reached its peak, but it's still on the come down. The trip is not over. Like, there's still a lot of 2016, 17, 18 artists who are gonna remain selling over 100k for a good while, and some are gonna change their sound to adapt to modern day standards, like Drake's always been so good at this. 
but the previous sound that's been cutting it for the past 10 years it's reached its peak and now we have all these rappers speed running the underground scene and almost making it to that lower level mainstream in a matter of months it's clear in five to ten years rap will have fully shifted into its new wave with rappers like ken and yeet going as far as they did already it almost assures this and to give an exact answer to how big the underground scene is compared to the mainstream basing it off the highest selling underground artists they're occasionally reaching a million on music videos easily pulling in over 100k on audios like i said that's not far from the lowest level of a mainstream artist so in that aspect the sizes are similar right well Basing the best-selling underground artists compared to the best-selling mainstream artists, out of 100% and that being the mainstream, the underground is currently 35 or 40%. Over half of the casuals are still not aware of anybody besides Yee, Ken Carson, Summers. They might be familiar with the name, but they don't have an identity tied to a lot of these artists yet. But with the mainstream going down and the underground going up, we're just gonna have to let time tell. And people are impatient, so we got these videos of people saying hip-hop's dying, not nah, just transforming. And there's always highs and lows, so even if it seems like it's low right now, bro, you gotta trust the process. And guess what? Once it gets fully established and implemented in everyday music like this current sound is, you're gonna have youngins saying that mainstream music is boring. The cycle will continue. And that specifically goes hand in hand with all these people thinking mainstream music is boring. Listen, I debunked the idea in this video if you really paid attention. The truth is it's not boring, it's oversaturated. When did I say this? When I was talking about waves. They start, they peak, and they end. And y'all think the mainstream lacks creativity, but in reality, the sound that's popular has just become burnt out. And if you weren't there when the ZZ snippet came out or like Fetty Wap's run, F love with tripping your ex, but you don't understand, we were fully satisfied. That sound was refreshing. It didn't sound like nothing we heard before. You gotta be young if you think it's boring. Because while yes, after a long time, these sounds became overplayed and way too implemented in everyday music, this naturally will always happen. Like the book has to end and think about how many chapters we had and how many rappers we've lost. Not even just the Pop Smokes, the X's and King Von's, bro, what about Lil' Key, PNB Rock, Big Scar, plus the rappers we got locked up, plus the rappers who are just straight junkies. And what I'm telling you is this wave is coming to an end. The same way that Steph and KD and Bron are retiring soon, it's the same way in rap and these rappers are getting subbed out for newcomers who got a lot of potential to go on and change rap music the same way they did. But of course, the only thing that could tell is time. So we're gonna have to let time tell and really see how it plays out. But of course, I appreciate y'all for watching greatly. And for y'all who mess with me, man, I had a whole video done on my MacBook. Cause I be editing on my MacBook still, even though I recently got a little desktop. But uh, yeah, that shit broke on me, bro. And my videos on there, it was a dope video about the relationships that go on with all these couples that are streamers. I'm debating if I should redo it or if I should wait to see if my MacBook is I. Right. It's in surgery right now. It got like shit from the Apple store to a different place. They're about to call me in like five days, man. So I just want to let y'all know that's why I didn't upload the past like week because I was supposed to have that one up last week, man. But I might just redo it. I might just skip over that. And if I get it back, I'll upload it. If not, then I'll have to redo it. But y'all let me know, man. I also got a second channel where I only talk about life. I don't talk about no celebrities, nothing like that. I have a video called Why It's So Easy to Fall in the Darkness that should be coming up in the next two or three days as well as a Patreon where I talk about industry secrets, things that you can't talk about on YouTube. But yeah, man, feel free to follow the Instagram, join the Discord. And yeah, I think that's all, man. Y'all be smooth, y'all be cool. Most importantly, be patient, man. I'ma catch y'all.